Hi, in today's video about Figma, I'm going to share with you some of the few secrets or I would say few uh, tips that are going to help you speed up your workflow, whether you are designing for websites, landing pages or UIs or dashboards or whatever you are designing. So these are the shortcuts. I really think that they are really, really helpful um and a, a very good solution for any web designer ui designer user experience designer so let's get started dig into figma i'm going to share with you some of the secret tips okay so first tip is that if you're working with an image for example like you can see over here this is an image and if you go and look over here on the left i have uh, enveloped it into a frame so whenever you are using any image, just keep it in a frame. Why? Now I'm going to share with you the reason. Now, if I want to um, change the size of the image or I want to hide some of the parts of the image, I don't want to show, I want to extend it or remove it. I can easily do that with a frame. So this is the frame and make sure you have clip content checked over here. And if I want to, you know, show this image, uh, okay, so right now I think it's an auto frame. So I'm going to ungroup the auto frame and let's just use the example of this image. And if I want to show uh, just this part of the image or like this, I just want to show this area, I can do that into a frame. And when my developer, he is going to export it, he is just going to export this frame rather than this this image because this image size would be different so they can just um, you know export this so rather than you know using um, masks around the image I mostly do that and one more thing is you can also apply uh, rounded corners so if you want to uh, if you if you can apply those rounded corners into the appearance you can have a rounded cornered photo so instead of using masks, start using frames in Figma and use all that magic. Got it? Now to the next step. Now, one other um, very useful tip or you can say shortcut is replace. Have you ever used it? If you haven't used it, you are missing out in Figma. So how it does uh, help is, for example, I have made some changes. For example, I changed this. Let's change its color to be, be a bit more uh, dramatic so you can easily see that this is green and this is gray. Now I'm going to copy this, Control Command C and select this and I'm going to replace with Control or Command Shift R. So this is the shortcut key. So you can see now it has been replaced. Nothing has moved, you don't need to change anything just keep on replacing in all the screens you want control shift r or command shift r this is a lifesaver for me i really use it uh, in a lot of places i really love using it because uh, you can easily replace the whole component the whole section whatever you are uh, trying to change okay so here we had few versions like version 3, uh, version 4, and then we have version 2, version 1. And if you if you look at these versions, uh, they are different. For example, this services, we, we one of my junior designers, she actually designed this. So I am going to do is, I, I am going to copy this. And if I want to replace it over here, like you can see this one, I'm simply going to use uh, control or command shift R. So this is going to replace this section, whole section easily. So this is what you can do with the power of replace. It really helps me. For example, if I have two variations of this section, I might, you can see over here, here are a few more variations of why choose us. So I can replace, I can duplicate this uh, frame or this design. For example, I want to show it to my client. I can replicate it and I can replace the different sections and I can show him different variations. You can see over here, here we have different image. So these kind of things you can do uh, 
uh, you can do with replace i really love it also you can see over here the previous tip i have shown you this is the image and i'm using again the frames you can see i can make it smaller i can uh, drag it like this this is really really helpful if you have a frame instead of just a plain image in your designs so these are my two tips uh, now the third one is okay so third one is if you have something like you have made textiles uh, or you have uh, color styles over here you can see over here you can copy them and paste them into another file so uh, it happened last um, we did a project with my junior designer what she did she actually created a new file new design file didn't replicate my old file and all my styles all my um, color styles and everything was uh, in my previous file the new one was totally empty so we mostly use these kind of styles like h1 phone text emphasis bold smallest label fonts para semi bold something like this you can see over h1 h2 h3 paragraph subheading list items list item bold phone text small phone number all these so what i did is you can easily select shift press shift and select all of them right click and you can see it says copy 12 styles and you can create a new file for example i'm creating a new design file over here and i can easily paste them over here i have to make some textile over here and uh, maybe i can paste over here now okay so now i can paste you you should have one style over here paste 12 styles so you can see this is how you can just delete this one and you can uh, copy all the styles from other files for example like i can have this uh, these color styles just copy them let's paste 42 styles so you can see over here here we have all the color styles so this is a very very good way to bring your styles uh, textiles color styles into a new file if you have missed out something or maybe you are trying to copy something from somewhere you can easily bring them inside your figma files so these are a few tips uh, just wanted to share with you one is i use a lot of frames also make sure you create different sections whenever you uh, design you you separate them into different sections and for the sections again i'm going to give you one more tip i just remembered never use groups for your sections so if you have a section for example um let's say let's say this one so this one you can see my junior designer she actually created a group i would never do that because if i try to squeeze it you can see this this is happening this is really strange so what i do is i would always go with a uh, frame for example like this this one is good this is how it works um, section and it is in a frame always use that you can easily uh, size it you can easily make it smaller it is more better your images are not going to be squeezed Okay, so if I try to, you know, you can see this is how it works. Clip content is turned on. So what I do is I normally do that. If you want to resize it, for example, uh, Alt and Duplicate and just press K. To resize it, for example, in 2x. Um, and everything will work out perfectly. So this is uh, the use of frames. I am mostly sh shifting towards the frames and auto layouts. You can see over here, here we have a lot, a lot of auto layouts and frames. I rarely use groups uh, in my designs, uh, in all my designs. So this is, these are few of my tips. I would really recommend you to start using now. One more is that you can copy the styles and paste them so this is a very helpful shortcut control alt or control option c to copy okay so i'm not sure what is happening anyhow uh, so this is actually this shortcut sometimes it doesn't work on my pc i'm not sure why these um, you know uh, this happened but uh, copy properties and if i want to paste for example i want to make it 
the same size and color you can see I have just pasted the styles over here so uh, let's try with the control alt V yes actually it's working or control or command option V it is a very very handy shortcut to copy the styles uh, of your um, for example let's let's see that this this is a button and it has some styles applied to it let's see we have fill gradient we have effect we have colors and everything so I am going to copy this these properties <coughs> and let's try to apply it on this button okay so let's see if it uh, it's okay great so you can see this is a very very uh, good way of replicating styles or if you if you have applied some styles on one button you want to replicate it on others one and you can do that easily with copy these control uh, control alt uh, c and control alt v to paste so this works on a lot of things you can uh, copy the styles of your text you can copy the styles of your buttons um, uh, you can see some of the interface elements I have used just showed you over here so this is how um, I I tend to share my secrets or some of the some of the tips or you can say shortcuts that I mostly use in Figma there are a lot of videos on Figma shortcuts and those maybe most of them are not used in actual work so when i design i mostly use these so that's why i have remembered them and memorized them i hope you have enjoyed this video i will meet you in another video with more figma tips and tricks make sure to subscribe my channel there are a lot of people watching but they don't subscribe please subscribe so i get the motivation to create more videos till then take care and bye-bye.